Welcome to chair yoga. Again, as always, have all your toys nearby. A couple of blocks, belt, pillow, and of course a chair. And we're going to start seated. Inch your feet forward and wiggle your hips forward and perch yourself right on the very front edge of the chair seat. Inch your toes forward and then reach back, lift and separate, pull the flesh away from those sit bones and then settle in. When you rest your right hand in the palm of your left, join the tips of your thumbs together. This is a mudra or a asana, a posture of the hands, in which it is said that you help to retain or bring back memory. So maybe you'll remember something that we do tonight. Again, it's the right hand resting in the left and thumb tips touching. Shoulders are up, back, and down. And I invite you to turn your attention inward. Close your eyes and find your breath moving slowly in and out through your nose. With your breath moving slowly in and out through your nose, swallow. And then clear your throat. <clears throat> and as you breathe in and out through your nose, let your breath scrape across the base of your throat. cultivating a whispering, ocean-like Darth Vader sound. Feeling your breath scrape across the base, back of your throat, as you inhale and as you exhale. And after three or four long, slow breaths, you may begin to feel your muscles settle in, your bones settle in. You become more rooted, centered, grounded. And then slowly let your eyes flutter open and release your hands. You bring your hands out to your knees. Again, your toes are sticking out past your knees. Your feet are oh, wide hip width apart. Hands on the tips of your knees. As you inhale, pull your chest forward through your arms. And as you exhale, pull your belly and slouch backward. Pulling on your kneecaps, inhale, sit tall. And exhale, slouch. And then keep on moving. Follow the rhythm, the pace of your own breath. Inhaling, pulling your chest forward, and exhaling, pressing backward. Inhaling, chest forward, and exhale, chest back. How about two more just like that? Big chesty inhalation, and exhaling, slouching. One more time. Great big chesty breath. And exhale. This time as you inhale, come forward, stay forward. And release your arms down to your sides. With your palms turned forward, shoulder shrug, inhale up. Exhale back and down. And then bring your hands to the seat maybe up onto the sides of the chair, maybe up onto the backrest of the chair, and work your pinky fingers narrow, closer to one another. Draw your shoulder blades together onto your back and project your chest forward. Lead the way with your heart. Big chesty breaths. Feel your chest expand with each and every inhalation. Big chest. Shoulder blades squeezing together. And one more time, one more great big chesty breath. And exhale. Hands come to your lap, one hand on each knee. And once again, exhale, slouch. Leaning into that space between your shoulder blades. Holding onto your knees. Even rubbing from side to side, like you're a bear rubbing your back against a tree. Scrub your spine from side to side. 
Can you relax your toes? And then holding on to your knees, once again, inhale, sit tall. Release your hands to your side, palms forward. Great big shoulder shrug. Great big, good. Ooh. Lengthen your finger and hips all the way down to the ground. And then tip your head over to the left. Wiggle your fingers. Throw your fingernails down to the floor as you let your head hang. Now you have the option of taking that left hand up and over. Take the fingers alongside your ear. Deep breathing. Then tip your chin down towards your left armpit. Fingertips come towards the back corner of your skull now. Taking your chin into your armpit. And then take your hand off your head and let your chin roll around to the center of your chest. Shoulder shrug, up, back, and down. And bring your head on straight. We're going to reset and do the other side. Let your head fall over to the right. Grow your left fingertips down towards the ground. Keep on breathing. You have the option of taking that right hand up and over, fingertips alongside your ear. Add a little intensity. And then tip your chin down into your armpit. Fingertips migrate to the back corner of your skull. Chin down into your right armpit. Grow your left fingertips all the way down to the ground. And then release your hand, let your chin roll to the middle of your chest, and shoulder shrug, inhale up, back and down, put your head on straight. All right, you're still seated towards the very front end of your seat. You're gonna take your legs wide, so as ladylike as possible. Hands brace on the inside of your knees, toes sticking out past your knees, shoulders are up, back and down, and pull your chest forward. And then drop your left shoulder in, turn to look over your right. And inhale, come to center. And exhale, switch sides. Drop that left shoulder in. That would be your right shoulder. Drop your right shoulder and look over your left. And once again, inhale, come to center. We're gonna add on. So you're welcome to stay at this level. Twisting, dropping that left shoulder in towards midline, looking over your right. If it works for you, you can release that left hand down to dangle between your legs and maybe reach across so that both hands are on the same leg, twisting a little bit further. But continue to let that left shoulder blade peel away from your spine. And then to get out of this, climb that left hand back up onto your lap and inhale, come to center. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Drop that right shoulder in. Turn to look behind you. Feel free to stay here or release that right hand down. Take that right hand across so that both hands are on the left leg. Continue to peel that right shoulder blade away from the spine. And release that right hand. Once again, find your lap and inhale, come back to center. And heel toe wiggle your legs closed. Shoulders up, back, and down. Great big inhale, taking both arms all the way up and overhead. Interlace your fingers, turn your palms towards the sky. 
draw your shoulder blades down away from your ear, center your head. Big breath here. Then as you exhale, bend your elbows, hands come behind your head. Even bigger breath here, big chesty breath. And exhale, release. All right, we're gonna bring that right leg up, cross it over the left, and heel toe that bottom foot so that the leg is straight up and down. You can see I'm trying to position my knee directly over my heel, my heel directly underneath my knee, stacking everything up vertically. This is the right leg on top. Take your right shoulder, hitchhike, itch your ear, and hitchhike that right hand back behind you. We'll find the chair seat, maybe the backrest of the chair. Now take your left arm up, bring that left arm diagonal across, and twist. Let both shoulders drop away from your ears. Let your heart lift up. Emphasize the chest rotation here. But you'll notice that the right shoulder blade is coming in towards your spine and your left shoulder blade is peeling away from your spine. And on one. And let's recross and do the other leg on top. So take that left leg, cross it on over. Heel toe wiggle that bottom foot into position. So the ankle's directly underneath the knee. The nice vertical line straight up and down. Shoulders up back and down, taking that left hand to the chair seat or the backrest of the chair. The right arm comes up and diagonal across. Rotate. Emphasize the torso twist. The shoulders are naturally going to protract and retract. Pull that right shoulder blade away from the spine and squeeze that left shoulder blade in against it. Now turn just your head forward. Take just the back arm and snake it through under, crawl it down. And then take that bottom arm, flip it up, wrap it up, and you can release your legs. Feet a comfortable distance apart, toes sticking out past your knees. Shoulders down away from your ears as you press your elbows forward, pull your waistline backward. And breathe. Think about moving those forearms up and down. Notice which arm is on top. And from here, release your hands. Let your hands move down towards your lap. Notice which arm is on top. And recross with the other arm on top. And repeat. Flipping that bottom arm up, wrapping the top arm around it. Find yourself in that nice tangled arm position. Pressing your elbows forward, pulling your waistline back. And then sawing your arms up and down. Breathing into that space between your shoulder blades. And release your arms. Palms forward, shoulder shrug, inhale up. Exhale back and down. And then make fists. I'm gonna flip one fist or both fists backwards. So you're showing me your knuckles. Your knuckles are pointing forward. Shoulder shrug up back and down. You're gonna flip one wrist forward and the other wrist backward. So one set of knuckles curled backwards, one set of knuckles curled forward. Both arms are straight down at your side. You're gonna pick a side, turn your head to look over that shoulder. And then when you turn your head to look over to the other shoulder, flip your wrists the other way. And each time you turn your head, flip your wrists. Each time you turn your head, flip your wrists. Make really tight fists and really curl and flex those wrists tight. One way, then the other. Arms are straight down at your side, shoulders are away from your ears and you're tick-tocking your head. Turning your head, shaking your head down. And 
and pick a side, pause. Without moving your head, flip your wrist once, and then resume. Each and every time you turn your head, flip your wrist. Each and every time you turn your head, flip your wrists. The idea being that you get the nerve stretch. You're looking away from the wrist that's growing back. And you also get the nerve stretch when you're looking away from the wrist that's growing forward. So doing that reset in the middle halfway through as you get both stretches on both sides. And then come to neutral. Palms forward. Great big shoulder shrug. A great big yawn. Inhale both arms up and overhead. As you exhale, palms turn forward. Drive your elbows and shoulder blades together onto your back. Turn your palms towards your head and pull your thumbs backwards so that you tip the ends of your shoulder blades against your ribs. Bottom tips of your shoulder blades scoop underneath your heart, lifting your heart up. And then pull your tummy in. Now pull your thumbs back any amount at all. A little bit more rotation in those arms bones. Drive those shoulder blades down your back a little bit further. Inhale. And exhale, release. Now extend your arms out to the sides. Turn your palms down. Rotate your arms a little bit further so your palms face behind you, your thumbs point down. And then with your shoulders slouching forward, reach into your armpits, grab a great big handful of armpit hair and pull it out. Flare your fingers. Reach in, find those armpit hairs, pull them out. Flare your fingers. Keeping your elbows about the same height as your shoulders. Curling in, nice and tight, and then flare. Spread your fingers wide. Couple more gorilla armpit hair moves here. And it might look like I'm slouching forward, but I'm actually sitting straight. I've heard you do the same. My shoulders are slouching forward. Everything else is sitting up straight. All right, one more time. Reach in, pull tight. And now, shoulders shrug down your back. Flip your palms up towards the sky. Pull your thumbs down. Rotate your hands as far around as you can, like you're holding bowls of soup. This is called supination, holding bowls of soup. Shoulders are down away from your ears. You're going to find the epaulets on your shoulders, your shoulder pads. Grab a hold of those shoulder pads, nice and tight. Curl your fingers in, and then flare out. Fan your fingers. Curl in, find those epaulets, curl in nice and tight, 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 and then flare. A couple more of those. This is all about stretching out the wrists, those hands. I don't know about you, but I've been spending many hours on the computer, on the phone, just trying to keep myself entertained. And the next time your hands flare out to the side, stay there. In fact, you get to drop your right hand. Press out to that left wrist nice and hard. Pull your fingertips down towards the ground. Palm is flat like you're pressing it flat against the wall. And then your head falls away from it. Oh, that's going to give you a bit of a neck stretch. You know what else is going to give you a neck stretch? Still with that palm turned out to the side. Think about tipping your pinky fingers forward, tipping your fingers back. Polishing that wall. Big wrist and neck stretch. And then when you've had enough of that, as if you could get enough of that, you're going to come back to center and we'll reset. Oh, and do the other side. Palms forward, great big shoulder shrug, great big yawn. And shoot that right hand out. Palm flat. Go ahead and lock the elbow out. You're not weight bearing on it. Fingers pulled down towards the ground, fingers flare wide. Shoulders back and down, let your head fall off to one side. You're feeling the right side of your neck open up. And I'm gonna turn sideways just so you can see what I'm doing with a hand. I'm gonna take that hand, tip the fingers backwards, tip the fingers forward. All the while, try keeping that hand level with your shoulders so that arm is straight out to your side. 
This is an ulnar nerve stretch. You feel it. The pinky finger side of the hand and forearm, depending on where you're tight. And then when you've had enough of that, you're going to reset, thumb to neutral. Okay. Big inhale, both arms all the way up and overhead. Interlace your fingers and then bring your hands out in front. And notice the weave of your fingers. You're going to reweave your fingers so that the other index finger is on top. So slide everything over one knot so that the other index finger is on top. Press your palms out. Draw your shoulder blades down and away from your ears. And really press out through the heels of your hands. Squeeze your elbows narrow. Now, if you have hyperextending elbows like mine, elbows that bend inward a little bit, go ahead. If you're not weight bearing on it, go for it. We're going for a maximum wrist stretch here. Thumbs are pointing down. Maybe you can push your thumbs away. Maybe push your index fingers away. Big wrist stretch. And then release. Once again, notice the interlace of your fingers. Slide it back to the natural, normal way. Press out. Shoulders down away from your ears, pulling your heart into your body as you press your palms away. Maybe press those thumbs away. Maybe press your index fingers away a little bit more. Big stretch. And then release. And fan your fingers. Flare, curl, work your hands. Curl in, flare out. And then reverse that direction. Curl in and flare out. And I got one more wrist stretch for you. I'm going to take your palms onto your lap and then flip your palms up. Put the backs of your hands on your lap. Fingers pointing towards your lap, a little bit more challenging. Fingers flaring out in the direction of the pinky fingers. Try to spin towards the pinky fingers, even more challenging. And press through the wrists. Some of you might be able to straighten your elbows. Not me, not today. But some of you might be able to straighten your elbows. Do the best breathe. And then release. Oh. Nice wrists. All right, let's be nice to those feet as well. So your feet are a good hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider. You're gonna bring that right foot up into your lap, cross your ankle over your lap, and let that knee turn out to the side. You're gonna reach back, shoulders up, back and down, find the backrest of your chair and project your chest forward. Keep your chest out over your shin. Do your best to breathe because this can be quite intense. Your challenge is to press that right knee down without using your hand. Press that right thigh down away from your chest. Keep on breathing. I notice my bottom leg. My shin is straight up and down. The heel is sticking out past my toes. Heel, toes sticking out past my knee. Heel directly underneath my knee. And then ease up. With that right leg cross into your left, you're going to take your left hand, thread your fingers through your toes as deep as they can go. The fingers all the way into the webs of your toes as deep as they can go. Give that foot a good hard squeeze. Shoulder shrug back up and down. And lift your heart. Make this look good. Keep on breathing. Sitting up nice and tall, let that ankle hang off the outside of the thigh and roll the ankle around. Big ankle circles. And go the other way, big circles. And then pull your toes towards the heel. We're getting a stretch across the top side of the ankle. And 
and release. Jiggle, 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 jiggle until your hand works its way free. And then give that foot a good snap. Want to make sure that foot's alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic. And then we're going to switch sides. Feet down nice and flat. Bring that left leg up. Cross your left ankle over onto your right thigh. Ankle bone on thigh bone. Foot is flex flat. Again, this bottom chin is straight up and down. Palms forward, shoulders shrug up, back and down. Find the seat, back rest of the chair, and project your chest forward. Think about pressing that left knee away, down towards the ground. And breathe. Try to relax your jaw. Hip tightness. Hands to coincide with jaw tightness. Unconsciously, sometimes we grind our teeth and we're getting a deep hip stretch. Like we transfer the tension from one area to the other. All right, from here, you're going to release. Take that right hand, thread it through your toes. Fingers in between toes as deep as they can go. Shoulders up, back, and down. The free hand can rest on the chair seat or in your lap. But try not to push against the knee. The knee is heavy on its own. You don't want to jam it down. So if your hand is resting on your lap, just let it be light. And you're going to roll that ankle around. Big loopy circles. And go the other direction. Big loopy circles. And then you're going to pull back on those toes, trying to get a stretch across the top of the foot, the dorsum of the foot. And then work your fingers out, give it a jiggle until your hands wiggle free and smack it. I thought about giving myself a manicure and a pedicure, but I'm like, who's going to see it? <laughs> I think this is the first time I've ever, I've thought to think anybody's looking at my toes. All right. And then release. Okay. So all your toys are nearby and we're going to use them. So depending on how tall your chair is, you might end up using a couple of blocks. Most of us are definitely going to use a pillow at the bare minimum. Because from here, you're going to turn to the right, and you're going to back your hips up so that as much of your right thigh, move my shirt out of the way, as much of your right thigh as possible is on the chair. So I've backed up to the edge of the chair. Now I've got my blocks here to catch my left knee. This is the left knee. Left knee comes on the blocks. So use enough block, but not too much. Use just the right amount of block so that your thigh bone is vertical, straight up and down. That knee can come in narrow and be straight underneath your hip. So if the support underneath your knee is a little too much, you might not be able to swing it in narrow. I do want you to be able to sit down, get some weight into that right thigh, into that right sit bone. So this block, that's a little bit too much for me. I'm gonna move down to a couch cushion. There we go, yeah. You want weight. In the thigh, you want to feel your sit bone making contact, and then get that sit bone to make contact. Reach in there and pull the flesh away from your thigh bone and the flesh away from your sit bone. Bones making contact with the chair seat, and this uh, left leg is vertical straight up and down. You can go ahead and curl those left toes under just to get a little bit of a toe stretch. So curl those toes under. Make sure that pinky toe is curled under as well. You get a bit of a toe stretch. Palms forward, shoulders shrug up, back and down. Right hand comes to the chair seat, the back rest of the chair seat. The left arm comes up. I'm going to take this left arm diagonal across to find the outside of your right thigh or the back rest of the chair and turn. 
And do your best to breathe. Shoulders are down away from your ears, head is on level and straight. And then unwind. And you get to move that whole situation around to the other side. Pivot, rearrange, settle back in. Make sure those back toes are curled under, so getting a bit of a toe stretch. Your thigh bone is straight up and down. Here. Right, uh, left thigh, left sit bone are well grounded on the chair seat. Your hips are more or less level. Left shoulder up, back and down. Left hand finds the back rest of the chair. Right arm comes up. And then diagonal across to find the chair seat. Shoulders back, turning, rotating, breathing. Let your neck be long and elegant. Your shoulders drop away from your ears. And unwind. I'm going to go back to that first side. Pivot. Rearrange. Switch sides. Again, back toes are curled under. Make sure that pinky toe is curled under as well. Thigh bone straight up and down out of your hip. Sit bone. Thigh bone making contact with the chair seat. Right shoulder shrug up. Back and down. Right hand comes to the back rest of the chair. Left arm comes up. Diagonal across. Turn your torso. Now here's the challenge. Locate your left elbow. That left elbow is going to lean down towards your bent knee. Maybe you can get your left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Press elbow against knee and turn a little bit more in the torso as you are tipped over. I'm going to leave you there long enough that you have to breathe at least once. And unwind. But before we switch sides, they come to neutral, gazing over to your right. Shoulders up, back and down. This outside arm, outside leg lifts up, palm towards midline and tip over into a side stretch. And breathe. Let the distance between armpit and hip bone open up. Let those side ribs flare, spread apart from one another. Keep on breathing. Can you relax both butt cheeks? And then with an inhale, lift all the way up to center. We're going to switch sides. Once again, pivot. Back toes curled under, so you're still getting a toe stretch. Thigh bone straight up and down. Other thigh bone, sit bone, making good contact with the chair seat. Left arm, shoulder shrug up, back and down. Right arm comes up. And diagonal across. Holding onto the back rest of the chair, rotate. And you're going to try leaning that right elbow to the outside of that left thigh. Still holding on to the back rest of the chair. Try to putting elbow against knee, maybe elbow to the outside of the knee. A little bit more torso twist as you lean forward. Just a different area in the waist and side ribs receiving the stretch now. And then unwind. Looking over to the left, shoulders up, back and down. Still vertical in the torso. Left hand on the chair seat, right arm comes up, palm towards midline as you tip over. 
just going for a nice side stretch. I'm going to leave you there long enough that you can relax your butt cheeks so that you begin to feel those side ribs flaring, spreading apart. Some good space opens up between armpit and hip bone. And then with an inhale, come all the way up. And you guessed it, we're gonna switch sides once again. Pivot, rotate, settle in, back toes curled under, shoulders up, back and down. Inhale, both arms up. Bring your hands together down midline. Shoulders are down and away from your ears. Lift your heart up a little bit. So imagine you had a, a bra that you could hook your thumbs into, hooking your thumbs underneath your bra band. Let your chest lift up as your shoulder blades draw down. So you're working a bit of a back bend. Chest up, shoulder blades down. You can leave your right hand at your heart. Take that left hand around to the small of your back. You can make knuckles. Press your knuckles down that sacrum, knuckles down the waistband. So try to scrub, press down with your knuckles, anchor that tailbone down, as you hook your thumb underneath that chest, lift your heart up a little bit more of a back bend. Shoulders down, chest lifted. So try keeping this length in the front of your body as you hinge forward. As you hinge forward, keep that tail tucked down. And if you're feeling good about it, those back toes curled under, can you straighten that back leg? Keeping that length in your lower back, length in your heart. My torso is angled forward. You want to extend that line? Feel free to extend your arms out. So you're creating a nice slash through the air. Connecting wrist, shoulders, hips, and back heel. The heel, back heel might not touch down. Nice long angle. And then slowly ease on down. And let's switch sides. Pivot. So settle in. Make some good contact. Back toes curled under. Shoulders up, back and down. Hook your thumbs into your bra. Lift your heart up. Drawing your shoulder blades down. Leave that left hand out your chest. Take that right hand, the knuckles into your waistband and try to lengthen your lower back as you lift your heart up. Heads on neutral and straight. I'm manifesting this movement with my heart lifting, my tail tucking, my tail lower back lengthening. It's not about tipping my head back to get anywhere. So nice and long. Begin to hinge your torso forward, but try to keep that length in your lower back and the lift in your heart. And when you're feeling strong about this, back toes are curled under, try to power that back leg straight, pressing hard into that right heel. Feeling good and strong, you can take those arms up alongside your ears. Pressing hard into that back heel as you reach through your fingertips. That nice flat, long body line. And then ease on out of it. Have a seat. Oh, gonna spin to neutral. Recenter, resettle yourself. Feet nice and wide. Toes pointing out to the sides. Shoulders up, back and down. We'll come into a forward fold. Hands can be on your lap. If this works for you, you can release your elbows to your lap. Let your head hang a little bit more. If this is all good for you, you can release both hands down to the ground. Your arms aren't quite long enough to reach the ground because your legs are too darn long and lovely. You can put blocks underneath your hands. Modify so that you can breathe. Continue to let your head hang.
then one elbow at a time, both elbows come up onto your lap, then both hands come up onto your lap, and then you press into your hands as you slowly roll back up to sit. I'm gonna turn sideways. You might consider turning sideways as well. It's optional. I'm turning sideways just so you can see the profile view of what I'm doing. It can be the same thing we just did, but there's more detail gonna be added onto it. So again, feet are nice and wide. Orient yourself however you wish so you can see what's happening. Feet turned out, shoulders up, back and down. You're gonna lead the way with your heart. So imagine you were a Hindu goddess, you had an extra set of hands, extra set of thumbs hooking at that broad band, chest lifting up, actual people arms on your lap. So heart leads the way. And as you lift your heart up, also imagine another set of hands right there at your sacrum, pressing your tailbone down, lengthening your lower back, really getting long through your spine. And then hinging over. Nice long flat back as best you can. Nice long spine. And then hands come down to blocks or onto the floor. Whatever works for you. Locate your right hand and with an inhale, sweep that right arm out to the side. Take that right arm and pull it in against your spine. So shrug that shoulder blade onto your back. Now glue that arm in onto your side ribs. Don't let it go anywhere. And try to rotate your chest. Not gonna get as far as you'd like. Try to rotate your chest, not just snap that arm off around you. Think about rotating your chest and breathing. And then unwind, and we'll do the same on the other side. Locate your left arm, sweep that left arm out to the side, follow it with a gaze, get to like a stopping point, a place where you just start to kind of get stuck, and then take this left arm and pull it onto your back. Get that left shoulder blade in against your spine. Keep that arm glued to your side ribs as you turn your chest open any amount at all. You're not gonna get very far. And then, Release, forward fold, all the way down. Head hangs. Can you breathe into your side ribs? The part of your chest you just stuck your arm into. Feet are down flat on the ground. Toes might turn in just the slightest bit to get good solid contact between your feet and the floor. And then hinging forward, start to lift your buns up towards the sun. Let your head continue to hang down towards the ground. And as you bottoms up, turn your toes in a little bit more, press your heels out a little bit wider. Think about spreading your sit bones even wider still. Top of your head down towards the ground. From here, you can reach back through your legs, find the chair legs, get a good grip on the chair legs, and then push the chair feet into the ground. As you push the chair's feet down onto the ground, draw your shoulders away from your ears. And keep breathing. Those side ribs tend to get tight. So keep breathing into your side ribs underneath your shoulder blades. Your legs are gonna get a stretch regardless of what's happening in your chest. So just pay attention to your chest. Try to find that breath in those side ribs underneath the shoulder blades. The side armpit area. We can start to bend your knees, put your butt down on the seat, find the seat with your seat, and elbows one at a time, elbows onto your lap, fix your feet, so your feet are comfortable, and then one at a time, both hands onto your lap, slowly slouch backward, chin to your chest, and spread into those back ribs a little bit more.
shoulders shrug down your back as you lift your chest up. Good. I'm going to turn towards you. I'm going to heel toe wiggle your feet narrow. Shoulders up, back, and down. Kind of butt walk to the very front edge of your chair seat once again. Bones making contact. Now let the bottoms of your feet come together. Let your pinky toes, late edges of your feet, touch the ground. Hold on to the chair so you don't fall off. You're on the very front edge of the chair so you can actually tip your pelvis, but hold on so you don't fall off. So shoulders back, chest lifted, and try pressing the bottoms of your feet together a little bit harder. Big chesty breaths. Shoulder blades again. Now remember that slouch, we just did it a moment ago. You're going to work on your best slouch here. So find your belly button, pull your belly button in against your spine. If you know where your pelvic floor is, you're gonna pull that up in against your spine as well. And you're gonna make a deep wrinkle across those front ribs like you're getting tickled and you're gonna rock to the back edge of your sit bones. And you're still holding onto the chair seat, maybe. Your elbows are hugging onto the backrest of the chair. You're gonna lean back, slouch back, start to peel up one foot and then set it down. And it's a slow march. Pick up the other foot and set it down. Your challenge is to take the slow march weightless, never touching your pinky toes down. The bottom foot weighs nothing, it never touches down. Can you relax your toes as you do this? Can you breathe? And then finally put both feet down. And you get to come forward. And you get to bring your legs together. And you get to scooch back a little bit further. Shoulders up, back, and down. Inhale, both arms all the way up and overhead. And exhale, release. All right, so you scooch back. You're gonna drag your right heel back in towards you and skid your left heel forward. Shoulders are up, back, and down. You're gonna press into the back, press the chair, lead, your way, lead the way with your heart. And if it works for you, if your knee bends enough, if, you get a, if it doesn't bother your ankle, I'll show you a modification in a moment, you have the option of putting your hands on the back, press the chair, skidding your hips forward by working those sit bones, kind of wiggle walk your sit bones to the front edge of the chair. It's going to deepen the flexion at your right ankle. Shoulders back, chest lifted. Pulling those left toes back towards your nose. We're doing this as a bit of an ankle and a calf stretch. And then ease up and scooch back and reset. So I like to start back. So I'm going to drag this left heel in, skid that right heel out. I put that heel as far back as I can, and then I just make it even more intense. If I find the back rest of the chair, project my chest forward, maybe wiggle, walk my hips forward, get even more bend in that uh, left ankle. Flex that right foot, peel the toes back towards your nose, lift your, your heart, and lean forward. And breathe. And Release. So you have the option of repeating that. If you have ankles that are a little bit iffy, this is probably the nicer, easier version. If you have ankles that do bend and you want to go for a squat, I'm going to turn sideways. Again, you might be better orienting towards the screen so you don't turn your head in a funky way to see what's going on. Holding onto the front edge of the chair seat, I'm going to drop down and cop a squat. So if you have ankles that bend this way, if your Achilles tendons on the backs of your ankles are long enough, for you to cop a squat and then go for it. Ways you can modify this squat, if your heels do not touch down, a folded blanket or some couch cushions can go underneath your heels so that you can settle your heels down on something. You do want those heels making contact with something. Other modifications is to turn your toes out and take your knees out. Toes are always pointing in the same direction as the kneecaps. So if my kneecap's pointing that way, so too are my toes. Shoulders back and down, chest lifted. 
try finding that long back as if you had thumbs hooked underneath that bra. Lift your heart up as if you had another set of hands massaging, scooching that tailbone down. Shoulders back, chest lifted. Hook that chest, drop your tail, breathe. And then you're wondering what the chair is all about. Well, elbows on the inside of the thigh, draw your chest through your legs and keep your hips down low. Maybe reach out, crawl your hands forward. Get a little bit longer through your side body. The further you crawl your hands forward, the more weight you can shift towards your heels. More weight into your sit bones. Try to find breath in those back ribs. And then from here, we're all gonna make our way up to standing. However that works for you. And you're gonna orient yourself so that you are standing facing your chair. So move that chair towards the end of your mat. And I recommend having your chair in front of the screen so you're not turning your head sideways to see what's going on. So have your chair right in front of the screen. Standing close to that chair, do make sure the chair is entirely on the sticky mat so that it doesn't slide off. Shins touching the seat, toes underneath the seat, hands on the backrest of the chair. Then hinging forward, hands come to the chair seat, and you're gonna take a giant step back with your right foot. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle that right heel back, back, back. And try to pull both legs straight. Now press into the chair seat, puff out those side and back ribs. Tuck your tail, tuck your chin familiar with cat pose. You're doing cat pose here. So you're pressing into the chair seat so you can pull your heart up against your spine a little bit more and really round your back. Tuck your tail. The more you tuck your tail, the more likely you are to get that back heel down. Try stretching that back heel, the inner back heel, straight back. So maybe pick up that back heel and pivot on the ball of that back foot so that the inner heel stretches straight back. All 10 toes pointing in the same direction. And then, hey, if that heel staples to the floor, great. Draw your shoulders down your back, hook imaginary thumbs at the breastbone, and advance your chest forward. Work towards a flat, flatter back. Lead the way with your heart. Imaginary thumbs hooked into your breastbone. Imaginary fists at your waistband, lengthening your lower back. Projecting your heart forward, drawing your lower back long, stapling that back heel to the ground. So far, so good. You can play around with crawling your hands back up to the chair seat. A little bit more challenging here. Your hands come to the top of the chair. You're gonna spin onto the pinky finger blade edges of your hands here, thumbs point up. And then the grand finale is just put your head right between your arms. And make sure that front knee is unlocked. Really nice, long, extended pyramid pose variation. And then release, both hands to the chair seat, bend both knees, step forward, and let's switch sides. Cool, but take a moment to stand up, find your equilibrium, breathe, and get ready to do the other side. Again, standing towards the back of the uh, front edge of your chair, chair at the front edge of your mat, shins up against the front edge of the chair, Gonna hinge forward, put both hands on the chair seat and go long with your left leg. Try using up that entire yoga mat for this pose, with this stretch. Now press that inner left heel straight back. Try to staple that inner heel down towards the floor. And if it doesn't touch, here's the, the trick. Press your hands into the chair seat, pull your heart up into your body, pull your belly in nice and tight, tuck your tail, tuck your chin. And try to pull both legs straight 
and staple that back heel down to the ground. Sometimes it helps to get up onto the ball of the back foot, stretch that inner heel straight back down towards the ground. The more you tuck your tail down, the more you can anchor that back heel down. The straighter you can take the front leg. Now you're getting somewhere. Once that back heel touches the ground, try to draw your shoulders down your back, lift your heart, extend your heart forward. At the same time, keep your lower back long. Again, imaginary thumbs at the bra, imaginary fists at your waist band, back waistband, lengthening your spine nice and long. You're feeling good about that. You've got that inner heel touching down. You've got nice long back, nice open chest. You can play around with taking your hands up to the back rest of the chair. Be on the pinky finger blade edge of your hands with your thumbs pointing up and put your head right between your arms and unlock that front knee. Keep on breathing. We're going for an extended pyramid pose variation. And then one hand at a time, both hands to the chair seat. Slowly bend both knees, recover, <laughs> step forward. You can hold on to the chair seat, step back into box pose. You're gonna make a tabletop surface with your back and breathe. Breathe into those back ribs. Breathe into those shoulder blades. After three or four long, slow, deep breaths, you can play with this a little bit. Work your hands to the edges of the chair seat, thumbs pointing up, pinky fingers pointing down. Let your feet be a comfortable hip width apart. Put a bend to your knees, flip your bums up towards the sun. Get a little bit longer through your side body. Really lengthening your arms. Relaxing your toes. And then put a bend to your knees, round your back. Take little baby steps as you step forward. Stepping forward towards the end of the chair. And then transfer your hands from the chair to your lap and climb your hands up your lap as you slowly come up to standing. And just take a moment to settle. Breathe, find equilibrium. And then we get to finish the way we began. So you're gonna have a seat. If you prefer to lie down, that's all you. But I'm just gonna sit. Turn your palms forward. And before you do that, reach back, spread. Settle in. Inch your toes forward so your toes stick out past your knees. Turn your palms forward. Take a great big shoulder shrug. Inhale up. Exhale back. Head down. <laughs> Maybe even take a big yawn. <laughs> and then you can rest your hands on your lap. Palms down, palms up. Or you can finish the way we began with the right hand resting in the palm of the left and your thumb fixed touching. Shoulders down and away from your ears. And settle in. Take a couple of yawns. Swallow. Clear your throat. <clears throat> and find your breath moving slowly in and out through your nose.
slowly let your eyes flutter open. Begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, wiggle your jaw, wiggle your nose. A great big stretchy yawn. And then release your arms. We'll finish with hands together at the heart. Namaste, my friends. Have a wonderful evening.